The eye tracker is an experimental apparatus that uses head-mounted cameras to track participants' pupils in order to record the location and duration of gaze fixations on a display. The eye tracker cameras sample the position of the eyes as often as every two milliseconds, enabling researchers to study online or real-time processing of text, visual, and auditory stimuli. Members of the Center for Research on Brain Language and Music use the eye tracker to investigate a number of topics, including emotional prosody and discourse processing. The subject wears a headset mounted with three cameras. Two cameras track the movements of the subject's pupils, and the third camera communicates with reflectors mounted on the display monitor in order to track the position of the subject's head in relation to the monitor. This shows that her eyes and her head are centered, roughly centered in front of the screen, and this, these screens show the right eye being detected by the camera with the blue of the pupil and the left eye detected by the camera. The eye tracker software calculates the precise location of fixations on the visual display at any given moment based on the movements of the pupils and the position of the head. Stimuli in the visual or auditory display can be modified during their presentation and can be triggered manually or automatically, for example with a timer or in response to a predetermined eye movement. In experiments that use a visual world paradigm, researchers can draw conclusions about online auditory processing as gaze fixations across a display of images occur in response to auditory stimuli and reflect the processing of these stimuli. In experiments with a reading paradigm, a sentence or passage is presented to the subject. The eye tracker takes note of the area of the display that matches the subject's focal and peripheral vision. This data provides some insight as to how the text is processed. Researchers can analyze the location and duration of fixations, for example, those related to solving errors in processing. Some experiments may utilize a scene camera that captures and records the participant's entire visual field. When this information is integrated with the data from the eye cameras, researchers can observe the changing fixations on the environment or dynamic stimuli, and therefore make inferences about how the subject might be processing his or her environment. A host computer runs programs for calibration of the system and data collection. A display computer and monitor present visual stimuli to the participant. Auditory stimuli is presented through earphones. A headset with mounted cameras determines the position of the head in relation to the display monitor and tracks eye movements. A keyboard or controller can be used if the participant is required to provide responses during trials. Software for viewing the data allows researchers to view the eye movements in real time and to replay trials with a marker indicating where the gaze was fixating. So that's like a short video and the pink dot, if you can get it, it's just showing you where the eye was as the time went by. The researcher places the headset on the participant, tightens the straps, and adjusts the position and focus of the eye cameras to ensure that they are accurately tracking the participant's pupils. The participant completes a calibration procedure in which he or she fixates on a dot as it moves around the screen. The software measures the changes in pupil position and correlates them to the distances between predetermined positions of sequential dots during the calibration procedure. Experimental trials are fired. Trials can be triggered automatically or manually. In between each trial, the program recenters the fixation point, minimizing errors that may have resulted from head movements during the experiment.